welcome to my channel. So excited that you joined me today. And if you've seen the video title, that I'm going to be going back six months on KDP um, from the point that I started making a profit. I've probably been doing this overall about eight months. I'm a stay-at-home mama. I was looking for something that I could make an income off of while I stayed at home and homeschooled my kids because in this day and age, you just don't know what's going to happen. So it's best to have just different, different things that you're in online that you can make a commission off of. And you can hear my baby in the background. <laughs> and she wants to say hi. So if you're like me and you're a stay-at-home mom, stay tuned because I'm here to encourage you, inspire you, um, and just show you that what is possible. You know, if you stay committed, we can do it, right? So I hope you keep watching. At the end of this video or like after I show you the six months prior, how much money I've made, and the progress I've made, I've also included, I don't know, I think it's about 15 niches. <laughs> My nose. That's your nose. I've included 15 awesome niches. They're coloring book inspired or drawing book inspired. Um, you want to stay tuned, okay? Because there's a lot of niches that I've included in this and I was having a... There's a lot of niches included in this video at the end, so stay tuned. And you're not going to want to fast forward because it's very quick in how I introduce the niches. Um, and you definitely don't want to miss the, the really good niches. So stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe, like this channel. I mean, like this video, subscribe to this channel. I've got many more vi uh, videos in the future, uh, niches that I'm going to be I'm going to be throwing at you. And you're going to be like, oh, give me more, right? That's what this is about. We're doing our KDP niche business, um, putting out high quality books, right guys? So please keep watching. Okay, so here we go. Um, right now we're in March, so I just need to go back six months from March. Um, so yeah, 26 to 68 isn't the amount it's gonna be. This is only the first 10 days of March. So September is six months ago. I'm gonna dive into that and it's 1428 US and then the Canadian dollar that I made was 1319. So it's about thirty dollars, maybe thirty-five because it's US converted to Canadian because I'm Canadian. Um, that's a good profit. The next month, October, I made twenty-one eighty-four. Um, it wasn't as high as the previous month, but that's okay. Trial and error. Um, just continuing on. November. This one was 56.73. This is when I was starting to get really excited because I'm seeing things double in the next month. You know, that number uh, above 50, it's like you get really excited. You, you get so hopeful that it's going to just continue doing what it's doing, right? Um, very exciting. So 56.73 in Canadian is about 75. I mean, sorry, US is it 75 Canadian. And then December for most people is a really high month because everybody's shopping online. Everybody wants to get Christmas gifts going. So 127.69, woohoo, that was a good price. And I'm not bragging you guys. I'm just encouraging you and I'm showing you that it is possible. You know, things do grow and progress. You got to work hard at it, you know, but eventually you'll get there. And I'm putting up uh, more quality books rather than quantity. Look at January, 103.51, 39.96. It's, it's rising. $3.51, $39.96. Almost the same as December, so pretty cool. February was a little bit slower, and I think a lot of people that do KDP realize it's going to be a little bit lower. Um, $93.80, still good. You know, still going at that $100 mark, which I was really thrilled about. And then you guys have seen the March, just the beginning though. This is just the first 10 days, I think. And I made twenty six sixty eight, and you guys, like I'm basically selling a book every single day um, now. So that that is just like, you know, it really really excites me to be honest. And I'm going to show you guys the graph, and just I wanted to show you how many books I sold in the last thirty days, fifty books. So from February eighth to March 9th in the last thirty days, fifty books is how many I've sold. And I've published around, well, they're not all live, but 103 books is what I've put out there. And I think about 80 of them are live. 
looking at the graph you can see you guys i'm making sales almost every single day which i i know you guys can do this you know it's just about sticking through and waiting and seeing how things progress you know it's your commitment to this business it is a lot of work i mean 103 books that i put out there is quite a lot of work um so you know what you're getting into um but it will eventually come just feel encouraged you can do this so i just wanted to you know show you guys some niches just to thank you for staying tuned and listening and you know i hope that you subscribe to this channel because you find this very useful if you can see here 214 results and it's draw kawaii cute people like that's a really low amount of results and i always try to focus on those ones i try to find like the little nuggets that are like uh you know 62 62 is amazing especially for that amount and we're going to go on to the next niche that i want to show you guys I know it's like it can be so overwhelming when you're looking for niches but when you find the right ones you're like finally yay uh this one is 336 results and it was 72 you want to look for like 50 or higher and i can leave links on the plugins that i use they're free um i'm just showing you niches so that you can just like you know have a little bit of help while you're doing your niche research so this next niche kawaii drawing books cute things yeah so 373 results and let's see the keyword niche score you know it's <clears throat> it's really like i always try to keep it under like look at that 69 that's a great score that's what you want that's what you want what you want to find i always try to keep it under a thousand like um I never really quite go a thousand. I usually do like 900 or so, but that um, really helps sales, you know, because there's less competition. And oh, look at that 620. How to draw a kawaii cats book. If you're interested in kawaii, because I know I am, um, that's a great niche. 61 is a great score again. Um, you'd think that it'd be saturated with cats and people are always looking for cats. And you can see that January 29th, 2022 is pretty recent. April 26th, 2021, that has like 196 reviews. Great. You know, that's, you want to look for that when you find niches is to see how recently they published them. So I'm just continuing to do some research, how to draw a kawaii book. Um... didn't work so how to draw kawaii cats for kids is 585 results 45 isn't bad because of the low number there um and just you know kind of take a look at your competition you know <laughs> uh, how their covers are how their layout is and how recently they published it you know just keep an eye on that stuff it's really important when you're publishing your books to see you know how to go about your cover how to make yours a little bit more appealing to people that are looking for this type of niche and also looking at the titles too can help give you ideas of uh, what niche to research um, as a keyword or as your own title if it's not trademarked and i want to really emphasize it's really important to look at trademarks in that so cute chibi animals how to draw 63 976 results another keyword or another niche you could grab at um i really 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 love these this niche um it really stands out to me how to draw um kawaii and chibi because i think they're adorable and most people love them most people love the chibi cute characters so um, another great one, 335 results, cute chibi animals learn to draw. Let's see what the number is. I believe it's going to be a good one. February 16th, 2021, that's fairly recent, um, and it's doing well. Just 72, that's a great niche. 
I really <laughs> I struggle with sharing these, but if it's going to help you guys get started and help you with your journey, why not share it with you? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, you guys, if you're looking for more niches because I'm going to continue sharing niches that are like golds in the rough, you know, that take so long to research. But once you have it, it's like, oh, finally, you know? So if that's for you, just subscribe. I'd love to take you on this journey with me. And I'd love to be a part of your journey as you, you look at this. This is a, as you do these. How to draw kiwi cute animals and characters. See, just looking at the titles, you know, make sure it's not trademarked. Put it in there. See if it pops up. And it did. And then it'll give you other ideas. So 447 results. Um, let's see what that number is after. And again, looking at the dates of other books that have been published under this. And you know what? It's not really a great score. So, But sometimes, even though it's not a great score, um, putting it underneath there a little bit later... Maybe it will be a good score later. It's, it's a gamble, but I, I don't really do that that much. But sometimes it will, it will work. January 15th, 2021. Or 2022, sorry. That is doing really well. 49 is the score. I would go for that one. Learn to draw cute chibi animals. Learn to draw cute chibi animals. 853 is the results. Again, it's under 1,000. And it's a high score of 70. Wow. I would jump on that one. Yeah, that's a great one. And we'll look for another niche idea. So yeah, you guys just continue listening. I mean, I don't want you to miss anything. So if you fast forward, you might miss some because they're so quick. Learn how to draw cute things. A thousand, that's not bad. Maybe I'll go some, somewhere else though. I always just like to go below that thousand mark. Because if you don't, then, you know, like, and you guys, you're looking for these keywords that Amazon already pops up for you. So this niche, I don't want because 2000 is just too much for me personally. Um, but you guys might want that. I don't know. Everybody's different. I know I keep it under a thousand. So how to draw chibi. Has 683 results. And let's see the keyword niche score. And I think it's going to be a good one. It's just that waiting point. Sorry, you guys. It kind of loads a little bit. I have to cut out a lot of video because it loads so long because of where I live. Fun. Um... Yeah, so I would highly recommend anything to do with chibi, kiwi, kawaii, not kiwi, <laughs> kawaii, um, how to draw books are really great niches. So 60, look at that, another great niche, another one you could grab onto. I think I'm going to look for just a few more uh, niches. I know I could keep going on and on with this, it's like a never ending. Um looking in the goodie bag, you know, seeing what's in there. You know, I'd love to hear from people, you know, comment below how you're doing with your KDP accounts and what you've seen so far, how things are climbing for you, what have you bumped into on your road of success. I'd love to hear from you and I hope that I can get back to you ASAP when you do comment because I just love reading through it. You know, I hope that my success story of just you know, seeing things climb the way that they are has um, encouraged you, inspired you in a good way. I know I'm not at like the highest point yet, but you know, it's it's so nice to see it climb, right? And stay climbed. And then I know I'm going to hit another point where it's going to do really well. So here's another um, niche, how to draw kawaii. Um, 
And it's that loading thing again, waiting. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. 57. 57 is the score. 522, if I'm reading that fight. 520. Um, that's a great niche. I would go for that one. No, that one's 3,000, you guys, like I have to say, is way too high. If you're doing this organically, which I am, I forgot to mention, I'm doing this all organic with how my sales are. I don't do advertising because I can't afford to yet. And I'm sure a lot of us are like that and and uh, don't need extra spendings, you know? So, yeah. So I try to keep it under 1,000 for that reason. So 500 and 90 or so. How to draw kawaii things book. I think this is going to be a good one. Um, another, yeah, another great niche. 65 is the score. Love, love, love seeing that. Anything over 60, I'm like, ee, great one. And then, you know, 500 is, 590 is a great score. And again, you guys, I remind you to just look through your competition you know, see what covers are need some improvement so you know where you can improve on. Or, you know, clicking and looking inside a book is always a good idea, which um, I should do for you. But you can do that on your own time too. How to draw kawaii, I'd look into that one. Because you need to know how hard this book is to create. Uh, how long it's going to take for you to set that time aside to create something like this where it's going to be so appealing. And I always now, like with learning what I've learned, you always want high quality books because it's nothing like seeing something sell really, really well and doing really well because you've done your research and then you get all these negative reviews. Um, and then you're like, it would have done well if I would have done a really good job on it. But because I just did a quick job and didn't really care, just wanted to test the waters, it doesn't do well. It flops, right? That's my advice, and I hope that everyone listening takes it. So how to draw anime animals for kids 9 to 12. 59 is a pretty good score. 850 uh, results for competition. I do like that one, too. I can't remember how many niches I'm doing, but there's got to be over 10 here. So I, I'm sure people that are listening are really, really thankful that they... Stay tuned in. <laughs> I know I would be. Yeah, and you can look at the titles. Gives you different ideas of what to search for, what to type in. And see if uh, Amazon will give you keywords for those ones. 65, another great result. So, how to draw anime animals. Um, that's a really good niche. So, yeah, I, I think that I've, you know, done a lot of niches, and I think this will be my last one, um, to show you guys. Just looking through the keywords. So, you guys, I think I'm all niched out. <laughs> All this research uh, done for you, and I hope you guys enjoyed listening, learning, and watching. Take care. <laughs>